are there at this point? There's there's pretty much like four partners, and then we have the collective. You know, like Antoine's part of the the collective. Giancarlo's part of the collective. We have uh, Jamar, who is part of the collective. He's like our our fashion stylist. I mean, he helped us out with all. He's this our hype stuff. man. He's our yeah, hype he's man, our man. Fashion. Everybody guy. loves Jamar. He's yeah. you know he's uh, yeah. He's, he's just energy. He yeah. designed a lot of the merch that merch we're looking guy. at. And he does wardrobe for our movies, too. Yeah. So uh, we just keep it all in the village. He was a friend. He's a celebrity stylist. And then uh, when we started really getting some features under our belt, it's like, well, we trust him. He's got crazy eye. It's so dope. And uh, he could bring, you know, some real cool, cool visuals to a project. And he did that, especially with this Gemini Lounge one that we did. It's a period piece. Let's talk about it. Oof, let's talk about it. Um, we're, we're really excited about that one. Uh, very excited about it. Um, true story based on the, uh, the Roy DeMeo gang in the late 70s, early 80s. They were, you know, they were just one of those mafia gangs. They were under the Gambino family, and they got hired to be contract killers, and they took it to a whole nother level. Um, they would chop up the bodies and make them disappear after they would kill them and, um, and take them to different parts of the city. So Roy DeMeo was a butcher's apprentice when he was young growing up, and he knew how to do that. So he taught his whole crew, mm. and, like, no body, no crime. And they did this to hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, it's, a, it's a crazy story. We didn't try to glorify the violence too much. We did show... So you understand what was going on, but um, it's it's really a character-driven piece, and the acting is phenomenal. We got Lucy Hale, Ashley Green, um, um, Neil Hirsch, Neil Hirsch uh, Robert Davi, uh, Danny Abikazer, uh, I'm in it, Jeremy Luke, uh, Greg Finley, all people who just brought it, and um, very excited about it. But go ahead. There's a lot more to be said. No, yeah, definitely. It's a really interesting film because of, of the character angle. It's, it's you know, in the gangster world, but very personal to the main actor and his life and, and the main character, I mean, the protagonist. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's really a prime example of kind of this, this strategy that Wild 7 has in terms of the village, right? We leveraged a lot of our friends, our network, all within this village to create this movie and... Um, to really like it, it, it's exponential in terms of like the the contacts that come from it um you know emil hirsch was so kind for instance introduced us to oscar-winning editors who helped with the film itself and um we just really had a great team behind it due to this whole kind of strategy that we're going through so. <laughs>